What's up guys, Sammy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at D-Link's new product, the Omna, which is a 180 degree wireless HD camera. It's also one of the first Apple HomeKit enabled devices on the market, which allows for setup within seconds. So taking a quick look around the box, we'll find some interesting facts about the Omna, including its 180 degree field of view, its 1080p full HD camera, its support for a 128GB micro SD card slot, which is not included unfortunately, a motion detection feature, two-way audio functions and night vision. Turning the box around to the back, we'll find some more in-depth info about all of the features, the app available for iOS devices and finally what's included in the box. So let's have a look at what's included in the box. After peeling off the plastic wrap and lifting the cover off, we'll find the Omna. And what I like about it first off is its aluminium design, which I think should fit really nicely into any home or office. Next up, inside the box after removing the foam partition, we'll find a quick start guide and some warranty information. Below that we'll find a AC wall plug, which on the input end you'll find a micro USB plug, and an Australian AC adapter for the wall plug itself. Taking a closer look at the Omni camera, we'll find a few noticeable features, including an LED sensor light at the bottom, its contour design from where the camera resides, which includes a speaker, and a microphone to communicate two-way. On the back, we'll find a micro USB port for power and ventilation at the bottom of where it stands. I did notice that the camera does get quite warm after only a little bit of usage, however, I don't think it should affect anything at all. On the bottom we'll find a micro SD card slot which supports up to 128GB of recording and a reset button. Next up we'll want to head over to the App Store to first download the Omna app. This is an important step of setting up the Omna and once we launch the app we'll be asked to grant access to some features of your iOS device. After this we'll begin to add a new accessory and the whole process of setting up is quite quick. First, you'll need to enable the Bluetooth on your iOS device, and once this is done, you should see the Omna come up onto the app. The next part involves positioning your camera from your iOS device, in this case it was my iPhone, to the back of the Omna as it features that HomeKit code it needs to scan in order to set it up. I unfortunately couldn't get this part to work that well, so I entered the numbers manually and it worked right away but your mileage may vary. The next part involves giving your Omna camera a name, a location, and at this point the motion detection feature will also be added to HomeKit. After that's complete, the camera is set up and ready to use. After selecting the Omna 180 Cam HD, you'll have a live view of what the camera sees. You're also able to take and store photos on the app, communicate via voice, and listen in to what's heard from the camera itself. If you have multiple Omna cameras, you're able to control which is used from this screen here in a wheel style configuration. You can also configure how motion detection works from the Omna app simply by choosing the layout of boxes where you'd like to see notifications when detection is noticed. If you have an SD card inserted into the camera, you can find all of the clips that were triggered by motion here. And if you have multiple homes, you can also set that up here as well. After opening the HomeKit app, you'll have a live view of the camera and have the option of setting up notifications for the motion trigger. As you can see, when you receive a notification, you can simply tap that notification to see a picture of what happened in that moment. What I was really impressed with was how effective the camera is able to achieve that 180 field of view, where it gives a fisheye effect but is able to capture a lot of detail with a respectable color accuracy and lighting exposure. It also features that night vision ability and was able to pick up pretty good details as well. The only thing that I can really say where this product downfalls is that if you require to view the camera outside of your home, you'll need to either have a fourth generation Apple TV or an iOS device that is always at your house to allow you to access it on the road as it works through and relies on iCloud services. I think the product itself though isn't really that bad and design of the camera sometimes leaves you asking where is the camera so it shouldn't be that obvious. If you're in the market for a wireless camera, there are many options on the market. This one has its pros and cons, particularly that it's a HomeKit enabled device so Android smartphones are off the table. However, if you have a couple of iOS devices, it might be a suitable option for you. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this video. A special thanks to D-Link for sending this out for review. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.